Bangarang has been around for as long as I can remember, and throughout all those years of competing, our season has ended in almost the exact same way. Somehow every year we always end up losing in the game to go to nationals, or we at least get incredibly close. This last year was particularly brutal. Um, we ended up making it to the semifinals. And once we got there, we quickly realized that we could actually be in the game to go. The way it worked was in the semifinals, because Whitman was on the other side of the semifinals, if they would have won, then whoever won my, our game would have gone to nationals, and they did. So because Whitman won. In that case, the, the championship game really didn't matter too much. We would make it to nationals if we beat University of Portland. With that being said, this was still the same team that knocked us out two years ago. This was still the same team that killed us on the first day of pool play. I think the score was like 13-6 or something. And going to this game, we had a ton of injuries. Two of our main handlers were out. Um, so things, things were just not looking good for us. But with all that being said, we still went in with everything we had and managed to take half 8-5 and it was one of the craziest things that I've been a part of. I was flying high. I mean, we're up and at that point we're hoping that Whitman wins against uh, Lewis and Clark. So potentially that would mean that we're going to nationals. So that's a really good feeling going into halftime leading by three. Once that second half started, everything just kind of went downhill. Um, we, for that entire second half, we only scored two points. We did that, um, that classic bang rang thing where we kind of put our heads down and got a little down on ourselves. And I think, I think we just got in our heads and we, we still played great, but it just wasn't enough at that level at that time. We'd all been uh, practicing so hard for the entire semester and to be so close to going to nationals, which had been our goal forever, it was like almost heartbreaking. The final score ended with, um, it was 12-10 it was them. At that point, the other game, Whitman and LC, was just about to be finished, so it was we were sad because either way we wouldn't be going to nationals, but um, a couple minutes later figuring or finding out that Whitman had won just made it worse because we were that close and it was pretty discouraging. Seeing Portland celebrate off of their victory and um, yeah, just knowing that our game was actually the game to go to nationals. That's, that's when it really killed me. Nice short throws. There it is. Yep. Right there. Yep. 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 Pass the line. It's a quick yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Your touch it looks like a check mark, not a curve. There you go. Run it, run it, run it. Looks like a check mark, not a curve. There you go. My goal um, for Bangarang this year and for regionals is to go 100%, 110% all out on the field and really just leave it out there. Um, and what, whatever the outcome, win or lose, I, I really want everybody to feel like they gave it their all and that they can be proud and hold their heads up and know that we played the best to our abilities um, as a team this year. My goal as a team is to win. 
but most importantly my goal as a team is to capitalize on what we've been working on and know that we put everything out there because if we set that culture of hard work and being confident, even if we don't make it this year, then I know that there's a strong foundation. I think my goal for Bangarang is just to improve, improve each, each game, each day, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and um, yeah, just be a positive influence to those on and off the field. My goal for Bangarang this year is that everyone has fun, number one but also to build camaraderie because that's one of the things that I find most important about this team. This year our goal is to strengthen new relationships, uh, continue growing as a team, um, but especially after last year's loss, our main goal and end goal is definitely to go to nationals. Go to nationals? If we made it to nationals. It's to go to nationals. I want to make it to nationals. And go to nationals! To win. After the first few practices, I felt like we had one of the best shots at going to nationals that we've had in a long time. In fact, just thinking about our season made it difficult for me to sleep because I was just so excited for our future and our team's future as well. The freshman class that we brought in was really solid. We had players that had played for a long time and the players that hadn't played before were really athletic and had some good potential. And um, I knew that the players that were returning, they had gotten better and I was feeling really good about our chances. I think I was also really encouraged by the amount of freshmen we had come in and not only the amount but the, uh, the talent that came in. We definitely have a lot of strong freshman players this year and um, I'm really excited to see how we do at regionals. After being back a few weeks now and playing ultimate again with everybody here, I was just so happy because I forgot how much I love this team and also how much is just so much more than just a team. It really feels like a brotherhood. It's been a part of my four years at college experience and I, I know I probably wouldn't be in contact with a lot of these people had it not been for Bang Ring. And so, well one, it's just great playing with them and um, being competitive with these guys that all take this sport seriously. But also outside of that, it's, uh, it's really great to have this other community of friends that I wouldn't know otherwise if it wasn't for Bang Ring. I love the friendships and the community about Bangarang the most. Um, we just have a ton of fun together, um, playing and not playing, on and off the field, winning and losing. There's always, people are always happy, people are always fun to be around. What I love most about Bangarang is the community and how we just all goof around, but when it comes down to it, we also get serious and can uh, turn a game around. Bangarang is definitely a really goofy team. Um, and as you know, seniors have left and freshmen have come, 
we definitely have like changed personalities throughout these years and I've kind of seen it like ebb and flow but the one thing that's really stuck is how kind of goofy we all are and it doesn't mean like we can't take things seriously um, we definitely can it's just that everybody definitely has a really light heart and we have a lot of fun along the way we play as a team and as a family and we joke a lot and it's just a really lighthearted fun experience. Good job Josh. Good job Drew. Good job Thomas. Why would I get my Here we have a finch in his natural habitat flailing around on another helpless victim. Oh it was Josh. What? That was great. Wait, Captain? If that throw would have kept its initial velocity and trajectory, it would have been out. Projectory? Yeah, trajectory. <laughs> At so many tournaments, teams will come up to us and just tell us how fun we are to play against. And in a sport that uh, revolves around spirit of the game, I think that's one of the best compliments that you can get. We're a team that people love playing on and people love playing against. Um, I think the spirits are always high winning and losing and we always carry ourselves very well in Christ like. No, I feel like there's something over there like that. Yeah. No, but I I unintentionally think I don't care. Oh it's on record. Yeet! <laughs> yeah. Real tournament of the year is gun show and this has definitely become one of our favorite tournaments of the year by far. It's the perfect way to kick off our frisbee season. We got a bunch of new players and veterans all on one roster and uh, most importantly we get our new guys exposed to tournament life um, and it's just a huge learning curve for our team overall. Come on let's go! But yeah, that last game, it was a little rough, um, but it was all minor things. Um, you know, I thought we, really, we didn't really play bad, we just had a few turns and they capitalized. Um, and we didn't capitalize on their turns. We did not. Um, but yeah, so let's keep up the intensity and uh, yeah, let's get your proof. Everybody, Duncan Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Phil. Yes, Phil. Intense. That's been your tips. What's up, guys? <laughs> Parker does not see it. Oh, the Daniels of Hey, wait, don't record that. Don't record that. Don't record that. Hey, Sagi, was that your bid you are talking about? I guess I waited to start the roll, Luke.
homie's so dirty. Oh my god! Jesus! That show was pretty chill. Um, it was really fun. Um, it was re you know, we played really well. Only lost one game, got third. Um, yeah, we played really well, and it was always a really fun tournament. Uh, this year, we we came out playing Western our first game, which they're a really good club, and we ended up losing better than some people on our team thought that we would do, <laughs> but we still ended up losing. Um, the rest of the tournament, we played really well, we kicked some butt, we won the rest of our games. It's always one of my favorite tournaments um, behind regionals and I thought we did really well this year. It was cool to see uh, the freshmen come out and do things like zones or different, uh, different plays after not knowing what a host stack was two weeks prior. So I thought we did well. During the winter there is one week in February where everything just got really nice, uh, all the snow melted away and it allowed us to play outdoors a bit. So we ended up setting a double header up against Gonzaga University's uh, Team Guru. Gonzaga had always been one of those teams that we were able to beat. You know, it, it wasn't always pretty, um, but in the end we would always come out on top. Um, but 
With that being said, this year we knew they had a ton of talented recruits and a lot of talented new freshmen. So um, in order to prepare for our scrimmage that we had coming up, we decided to have a little classroom session. And it was just to go over all our footage from Gun Show and just kind of the mistakes that we made at that tournament. When they make that fake, we don't want them to reach all the way out because then that's just an easy break. We just talked about like when to do like an immediate dump and when not to. And in that one, it looks like I could have even looked up field for like a second and then got it and then looked back to Sagu. The reason that we're doing more throwing in practice is to get you guys more comfortable with those throws because I know that some of you aren't comfortable with that and that's the reason that you guys are looking straight back for those dumps. Saga with you. Hey, Saga. <laughs> <laughs> I was praying I wasn't on this <laughs> A lot of times when you're swinging over to the right, you use your um, backhand, which is a lot easier to handle. Oh, yeah, no, I got so much crap after that. The <laughs> problem with what he did here is he didn't commit, and the other thing he did is he backtracked. He came back with a oh, But during that cut, he cut off all his cutters while he was doing that. Mm. If he's going to make that cut, you need to go all the way as hard as you can and then clear out as fast as you can. Let's play back, all right? Let's go, trip two. Let's go, man. Trip two, fun three. One, two, three. Rufio, Rufio, Rufio. Rufio. Oh! 
playing aspect, we played like garbage. <laughs> um, and that was pretty much the entire team. Um, all our top players weren't performing well. Lots of drops, lots of bad throws, myself included. You know, just, um, we weren't clicking. Um, our chemistry seemed pretty lacking. Um, I wanted to quit. <laughs> that was really, um, really frustrating. And there was nobody to blame. It was just these little things that weren't connecting and it kind of felt like we, we were just a little rusty and our chemistry wasn't there. And so for me personally, it was, it was definitely frustrating. Um, I don't know how else to put it. It was our first time outside, so it was pretty rough around the edges and just there was no chemistry basically between anyone. It was all just um, kind of doing whatever came to us. And uh, yeah, not our best performance at all. What scrimmage against Gonzaga? I don't think I remember it. I don't think it happened actually. It was just an all around really, really bad day that we try to forget, <laughs> but learn from. <laughs> from a learning aspect, it was pretty informative of where we were and where we had to improve. After getting um, smashed by Gonzaga, I think a lot of our team was just demoralized. And um, yeah, I think it, it hit pretty hard for a lot of our players, especially, uh, especially the fact that we've been able to beat them for like the last five years. Um, for them to come in here and just completely stomp us was uh, surprising to say the least but I think that loss um, was necessary uh, and it was a wake-up call for us that like hey if we really want to go to nationals this is how hard we need to train The first day of PLU was honestly a lot of fun and it was great just because um, I think a week or two prior to that we had played Gonzaga and that had been a little demoralizing for our team it felt like but coming in PLU I think that we did a good job of putting that behind us and really putting our best foot forward and um, playing well and so it was great, it felt like we flipped a new page. That's a score! Yes, Scott! Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna turn this video off because I feel like we're just watching an injured person right now.
as a team, I thought we played really well. We, I think we played better than last year, which is good. Um, good to see improvement always. Um, we, the games we lost were really tight. We lost two games by two points each, I think. And the rest of the games we were able to win, which is really good sign. Really good feeling to win most of your games. I thought we played really well. I was happy with our performance. The tournament at PLU went a whole lot better than I expected, given uh, the practice time that we had had coming into that, all the indoors we had to do because of weather. And uh, I thought we played really well for where we were at. It was fun to rebound from our scrimmage against Gonzaga because um, we actually were scoring points, and that was a good thing. Um, and we kind of saw what we were capable of when we started playing well and actually practicing hard and taking things seriously. We were all tired and worn out and just kind of like wanted to give it our best and finish off strong, which I liked seeing that. Um, and I mean, we didn't, didn't finish as high as we'd hoped for, but um, it was just good to see everyone's effort and like how much we had progressed. About a week later after the tournament, Power Rankings came out. And I kind of looked at them like I always do, um, you know, just a quick glance, but then I looked, looked down and I saw that we had three bids. And I kind of looked again just to make sure, you know, and sure enough, there were three bids for the Northwest region. And uh, this, was, this was huge for us, you know. In the past, we've only had one bid um, a long time ago. I think there maybe was two, but um, the fact that there were three bids for the Northwest region was just, just insane. I was so pumped that we had three bids to Nationals after that tournament. I, was, I had to look at, the, um, look at the rankings a couple different times because <laughs> I didn't really believe it. I was pretty hyped because um, we've never had more than one. So uh, it was pretty uh, encouraging or you know, you made you pretty optimistic about our chances of going. Obvi you know, obviously this wasn't uh, like set in stone yet and there was a lot of time left, but just seeing this even as a possibility was a huge motivational boost for us. Yeah, this is how you know that we're a changed team. Mandatory practice. And tomorrow morning at 6.15 a.m. For the short time that this tournament was taking place, you know, Whitworth had always taken first. So this year, you know, it came in with the same expectation that was to win the tournament.
Do it, hey, do it, do it. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool though. Oh, yeah, please. Wait, Sog, you guys over here, and you're in the back of there. What are you doing? Sog, no, focus! <laughs> Yes, Agu. Yes, Agu. Oh, yes! Yes! There it is! Oh, what a throw! Hey, it was really close. Take your job! Hey. Take it. tournament was a good showing uh, we were missing quite a few people and then we lost a, a number more to primarily groin injuries but we ended up getting second which I, I thought we should have gotten first but those games will happen sometimes and I thought it was a decent tournament overall even though we lost I was still really proud of the way that everybody stepped up and especially a lot of our freshmen um, and newer players, they all really took charge and it was just really cool to see that happen. The Palouse was windy, so that was an adjustment for me. It was, well, like, seemed like less pressure than the PLU tournament for some reason. Um, and we had kind of had like, we had won apparently a bunch of times before that, so we had high expectations going in, um, but we also had some injuries going on. So um, it was just kind of a good learning experience, I think, for a lot of the freshmen who got to play a lot more with some of the veteran players uh, resting from injury? Um, to be honest, I have never been to Palouse. Oh, really? <laughs> never. <laughs> There's always been something, no. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, or maybe a month ago, uh, I had a groin injury, which I'm still coming back from. James also got hurt that game. Thomas hurt his groin too. Our groins aren't very good, apparently. Um, also, Daniel's been hurt for his entire life. His ankles and sh uh, what's it, his elbows, wrist too, he's got tendonitis, head, oh yeah, he's got concussions too. <laughs> God. Uh, but yeah, a lot of practices he's been throwing left-handed because he doesn't want to hurt his right wrist. So that kind of sucks for him because he doesn't get as much practice for that but also hurts our team because that's another pine cone um because without him he's he facilitates a lot of the play so if he's not playing at his best then we're not playing at our best 
It's tempting to say that injuries have affected our season more than last season, but also last year um, we had Casey that was injured for a lot of the year. Um, Daniel Gimbel was had like arm problems if I remember correctly, and uh, we had Parker who's just old. <laughs> but like, uh, I mean, I've had a, some nagging injury problems that haven't stopped me from like really playing that much but um, have been annoying. And I know some other people have had like a knee that's bothering them or like a groin that's bothering them. So it's just been something you had to monitor. But at the same time, it feels like we've been lucky until this point. Like we've played teams in the last, last year that were like playing savage because they had so many injuries and we had like a full roster almost. So um, I think that if, and I think if we had kept our conditioning up more all year, then it would be easier to have endurance throughout a whole weekend. But um, I think hopefully at regionals we'll be able to um, like be more under control and like more aware of our health. Gonzaga one more time before regionals um, and in that time I'm just excited to see how far everyone has come um, I'm excited to see how much everyone has improved and um, it's just it's just honestly that opportunity to show how much better we've gotten as a team you know the same team that, that killed us at the beginning of the year so uh, we're gonna give it everything we have this time so on the day of the scrimmage we actually only ended up having nine and a half guys so it was a little, a little nerve-wracking at first, um, how it was going to go. Playing that game was, was hard, but at the same time, um, everybody on that field uh, went out with a fire. We started off really slow. They ran that same zone that they ran against us at the first scrimmage that we had, but we came back and um, throughout our practice and you know experience from the other tournaments, we, we managed to step around their zone and uh, really start taking control of the game and make, got it down to universe point. Um, and even though the conditions were really crappy and everyone was like really cold and tired, you know, we got it to that universe point and we ended up edging it out. Beating Gonzaga was fun. I think it showed who the starters on the team should really be. Um, no, just kidding. And uh, it was it was really good. Um, we needed that, I think, to kind of prove it to ourselves that we have improved. Um, it was it was really rough the first time, and it helped going and playing at a couple tournaments right afterwards to get the feel of scoring and stuff like that. But it wasn't like really the same because it wasn't the same team. Um, and so being able to kind of show that uh, we've improved that much by the end of the year, that was pretty significant because I don't think we would have been anywhere close to that with only nine players at the beginning of the year. And, um, the fact that we ended up not getting that third bid, it was definitely a huge blow, but you know, we'll still come out with the same intensity that we would have if there were one bid. And um, yeah, we'll just push that much harder. And we, we knew that this was gonna be a hard fight to nationals. It's really disappointing <laughs> that we lost the third bid. Um, it's kind of back to where we were last year. Different because Whitman's now in D3, but it's still there up there too, so. When I found out we lost our third bid, I was pretty bummed because that's a big difference between three and two to get to nationals. But at the same time, Thomas reminded me that it was like never going to be easy to make it to nationals, so we had to be good to make it either way. And I mean, we would have had to be really good to make it with three, and we'll still have to be that way with two. We shouldn't let that change how we're preparing at all. I wouldn't say I'm afraid of anything. It's more just a bittersweet feeling um, going to regionals, as this is my last regionals, and. Um, every ultimate year, regionals is kind of the climax or the high point, and this being my last ultimate year, it kind of feels like the 
the summit of my ultimate career here at Woolworth in general. And so it's definitely, um, definitely a lot to think about and to swallow um, with it being my last, but I'd say I'm more excited than anything. It's time to perform. It's like our entire season has worked up to this. And so all the hard work we've put in, it's about to pay off. And I'm excited. I'm excited to like do our best because I know we have a lot of seniors leaving and I just want the team to play everyone collectively as our, at our best um, and see where it takes us. I'm expecting a lot of good games, actually. I think that a lot of teams in the conference are solid and well-matched. PLU, UPS, us, uh, Whitman, those teams can all play really well, Lewis and Clark. So I'm expecting quite a few close games and intense matchups. So, um, I'm expecting that we all play hard and play to the fullest and play like the team that Bangerang is. I think we can really, um, really take it and really win this if we have the right mentality and um, play to our fullest potential like I know we can. But to all of you, just have fun. It's a, it's a great tournament. Bangerang is such a special team. Um, enjoy each other. Enjoy playing at a different level. Um, if you hate Frisbee, I don't know why you're on the team. But maybe this will convert you. Maybe this is the tournament. Maybe that will make it all worth it. Um, yeah, I'll be rooting for you guys. I hope you bring Natties home. That's always the dream. If not, if you guys fail, play it on Sagu. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Uh, I hope to make some good news. Under the bus. Spend this weekend and play hard and play out of your freaking mind. And don't lose the motivation. Don't let it come to the point where you think you can't do it. Spend the whole time thinking you can, then you will. That's the most cliche thing I've ever said. But it's true, and it's the only way to win.
I don't actually know. I have no idea. If that no, 